Monday. Magic. Tomorrow. Don't. Miss. It. Be. Here. For it. <laughs> Magic Monday tomorrow. Don't miss out. It's a great episode. We can't wait to share it with you guys and we know you'll enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, we're gonna do this video? Yes, we are. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Did you hear? What? We're doing Magic Monday tomorrow. We just said that. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to say it again. <laughs> don't miss it. Don't, don't, don't get mad at us if you miss it. It's on you. You'll regret it. You will. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie Show. <laughs> so if you like today's episode, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Not just today's episode, in general, if you like us. And if, if, like you, if you like all living creatures, if you like air, hit the button. <laughs> just hit the freaking button, please. It's just if you like easy anything thing in the world, just hit that like button. It's an easy thing to do, and it just helps out. So please, if you could just hit that like button, we can stop asking. It's annoying to ask, and I'm sure you're annoyed hearing it. Right. We're all annoyed, so just hit the stupid annoying button, and let's move on with our lives. We love you guys. We're so happy that you're here today, and we're excited about doing this episode, Suffolk. Like, it's Suffolk. like suffocation. It does. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, you'll all let me know. <laughs> but I would say Suffolk had I not started doing this channel with Debbie. Very true. That's what I would be saying. Suffolk. And I might slip up and say at some point during this video. You won't, would you? Hopefully not. I don't think so. Um, we don't think we've looked at Suffolk. If we have, we've looked at little tiny places inside there. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll remember something if we hear stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm not, I don't think we have. I'm pretty sure we have it. Um, but we're going to today. And we're excited yes, we're, about that. And we're going to look at five pretty vi villages. And we love vi villages. Those are my favorite. Of all the things that we see in stuff like cities, they're mm -hmm. great. But I like the villages. The English villages, the Welsh villages, the yeah. Scottish. Well, we haven't really looked at those it yet. Those are little places that you want to go and live and just walk around. Exactly. See everything. Do everything. Exactly. Say hi to everyone. Become a local. So that's what we're looking at today. Five pretty villages in Suffolk you must visit, and we're going to find out why. What's so great about it? Uh -huh. We're going to see if it makes it onto our list and go and do. I'm sure it will. <laughs> our right? list is just too long at this point. <laughs> we need a place to not make the list, so we'll find out. But Ooh. here we go. Suffolk friends, hello to you in the comments, and we're going to take a look. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. In this video, oh. we explore five of the prettiest villages in Suffolk. From a charming seaside yes. town Sorry. to a village washed away by the sea mm. and the birthplace of Harry Potter, oh. Suffolk has it all. What? Try to pronounce that real quick. Mm. Walmerswick. Yeah, I was going to go there. Walmerswick. I see ice cream, coffee, sundaes, and pastries. That's all I can really read on the screen right now. I'm so sorry. I didn't even notice that. I was like, where? And then I look over there. <laughs> Pronounces ice cream, coffee, sundaes, and pastries. I'll go for that's the pastries. That's the name of the village the coffee, that we're going you can, to. You can have that. <laughs> Is that the name of the village we're going to? Yep. <laughs> Walmerswick. It's and not going to be right. I think you're close. I think I'm I totally bet. far off, but let's find out. You're all going, oh no. <laughs> Please tell us. Walberswick, just over the River Blythe Close. from Southwold, feels like a village almost untouched by time. Wow. Mm. Chocolate box cottages surround a pretty village green with quaint cafes and shops adding to the picturesque feel. There's your area. Oh, this is really cute. I like it. Crabbing is a major activity in Walberswick, oh. perfect for families. What? I've never been crabbing and I think I want to go. The we village can make that even happen. hosted the British Open Crabbing Championship from 1981 to 2010, and I bet you didn't even realise there was such a competition. <laughs> Did you? You could choose to arrive in Warberswick on the traditional rowboat ferry from Southwold across the River Blythe. The ferry okay. has operated here since 1236, and the current service is operated by Danny, 
who is the fifth generation of her family to operate the Walberswick awesome. really Ferry. Pretty amazing. Do they have ice cream boats? Sounds awesome. Huh? Another claim to fame is that Walberswick is home to actor David Morrissey, the governor in the series The Walking Dead. But ah, we're happy to say that the oh, village really? bears no resemblance at all to that fictional post-apocalyptic <laughs> world, and there are almost no zombies. Almost oh. none. Oh, we totally... Wow. On the way out of town, be sure to stop at St Andrew's Church. Here you can see the fourth church to exist here, right in the ruins of the third. A really wow. interesting feature. That is... That is cool. That is beautiful. I love it. Okay, I'm going to try this one. You guys don't say ham most of the time, so uh -huh. I'm going to go with lavenum. 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 That's what I'll say. Put, I don't know. I'm just trying. No, it's just you always have to be different. I know. <laughs> just kidding. Be, it wouldn't be any fun if we were the same. True. Lavenum. You're probably right. I'm probably not. Well, let's find out. Lavenum. In the heart of rural Suffolk, the quaint, picturesque village of Lavenham has a magical charm and the leisurely relaxed oh, yes. pace makes it the perfect spot for a weekend break. That's what I love. Once a prosperous wool town, Lavenham oozes a spellbinding beauty with timber-framed medieval buildings lining narrow streets. Timber-framed. One of the most well-preserved medieval villages in England, Lavenham is famous for appearing in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows and over 300 of its enchanting buildings are listed as being of architectural and historical interest. Wow! Whoa. Including the Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, the Guildhall and De Vere House. That's amazing. The Guildhall Ooh. is one of the most recognisable buildings in Lavenham. Now a National Trust property housing a social history museum and tea room, it was originally mm. a religious guild founded to regulate the wool trade. Okay. In its 500 year history, it's also been a prison, wool store, and a poorhouse, not to mention the birthplace of everyone's favorite wizard. The Guildhall was transformed into Harry Potter. Sorry, the whole Harry Potter thing's lost on mm -hmm. us. We've mentioned this. I've never seen any of the movies. I've never read the books. You saw the first one, right? I saw the first one. That's it. This is not something I have an interest in. This building is cool. I like that. The amount of history like in the this look of it. already is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Just all the carving of the woods on the outside. It's yeah. It's Stunningly beautiful. I can see why it inspired a lot. Potter's parents' ruined house. Filming in the village was cloaked in secrecy oh, really? and took place in January 2010. The buildings were filmed and then their appearance was altered magically using CGI. The actors were filmed in a studio then superimposed. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Just things down. Built as a hunting lodge for the wealthy De Vere whoa, family whoa. in the 1300s, De Vere House on Water Street also featured as part of Godric's Hollow. Different parts of the house were pasted together and could be seen opposite a fictional graveyard with a Christmas tree in the window. That is stunning. Rumours suggest the house is haunted. Perhaps it's nearly headless Nick. Look at that door! You're haunted you're and you get excited, don't you? No, you're looking at the door and I'm looking at how the bricks are uh, herringboned and then there's oh, yeah, wood yeah, around it. Which is that is unique. Different. I haven't seen that anywhere I didn't, else. Yeah, you always notice things I don't. Well, you got the door carving, and that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't say carving, but thank you for well, not it looks telling like a me carving. about it. No, you're right. But you're right. That herringbone pattern of the bricks. That's different. Yeah, that's really freaking neat. It's very beautiful. Huh. Sorry. St Peter and St Paul's Church Hello. is a Grade One listed church and is a must see if you're visiting Lavenham, as it's one of the most visited churches in East Anglia. A church has existed here since Anglo-Saxon times, and the church was rebuilt in stone in the 14th century. Whoa. The church was built by the wealthy wool merchants yes. of Lavenham and was added to and modified several times to showcase the wealth of its rich benefactors. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I have yet to see a church there that's not absolutely stunning. Right? Little Hall in Lavenham is a late 14th century hall house on the main square. Did you hear what I heard? I did. <laughs> the accent sometimes makes things a little funny. <laughs> hmm. mm. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. She did. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the captions on just for a moment. Because <laughs> I need to. <laughs> Any other Americans watching got exactly what we just got. 
Little Hall in Lavenham is a late 14th century hall house on the main square. Hall house. Okay. Not what we heard. <laughs> I don't know what a hall house is, but... Maybe okay. that's not quite right either, but it's definitely not what we heard. <laughs> and we're not saying you know. If you don't know, then I don't know what to tell you. Can't say it on here. We're a family show. We Moving on. a family show. So sorry. Moving on. <laughs> Run entirely by volunteers. That's so pretty. It's now a museum and is one of the oldest buildings in Lavenham. Stop. The village has lots to offer. Foodies will love the abundance of restaurants. Mm. History buffs can book on a guided walking tour of the village and soak up the magical medieval history whilst film lovers can spot some of their favourite film locations. Not to mention the spa, independent shops, galleries and boutiques. There really is something for every muggle in Lavenham. Can we just move in? Sounds like a place, um, great I'm, place to go. Great I place mean, to live. Well, yeah. There's food, I there's like shops, that. there's beauty all around you and amazing history. Come True. on. Okay, we're screwed. Mm. On the list. <laughs> Suffolk? Hi. We'll be there. We'll be there too. <laughs> Mm. And a long, long list. We're going to start asking you guys to help pay our mortgage for us to stay there long <laughs> enough to see everything. <laughs> we have to post our list and be like, all right, where do we not need to go? Well, eventually, we're going to have to do a live video and you're all going to have to help us mm. cross things off and I'm going to cry. Or we'll just have to put extra stars against <laughs> things that we have to do. Beautiful. Lavinum. Oh, it's that. Okay. Oh, I hate when the berg is on there because I know you don't say berg. Oh, okay, I got this. I got this. So far, I'm kind of right, two here for you two. Go. I don't got this. Aldebra. Maybe. Mm, you're, you're, you gotta give me one here. Aldebar. Burr? Burr. Okay. Burr. <laughs> Aldebar. What did I say? Aldebar? Okay, mm -hmm. I think both of them are Look, wrong. there's another one of those buildings with the herringbone. Yeah, what the heck? Mm -hmm. We don't have that here. If we do, I, I don't. Know. We might, but I've never seen it. I haven't it. seen it on any other video. Mm -hmm. Maybe ah. I just wouldn't pay no attention. All the bro. Ah. That's pretty. How's the fish and chips in summer? Aldebra is a cultural gem. Aldebra? Aldborough is a cultural Aldborough. gem on the Suffolk coast and is world famous due to its connection with the composer Benjamin Britten. He called really? the town home and founded the Aldborough Literary Festival, which takes place each June. Oh, a lot of fishing towns like that. Aldborough is also famous for its fantastic fish ah. and chips from the Aldborough Fish and Chip Shop. Got However, it. queues can get very, very long, so I'm be okay sure to arrive early. Okay. Beautiful. A walk along the one kilometre crag path or promenade is a must. Whoa. Along the way, you can mm, check out the beautiful pastel coloured seafront pads, the Tudor Moot Hall, which dates from the 16th century. Okay. And but this is the mouth watering seafood huts. Ooh. If yes, the fish please. was any fresher, it would still be swimming. <laughs> I said that on the sign. Look. <laughs> if the fish. Oh, yep. <laughs> okay, good question. Everyone said Whitby. That's where you got to go. That's the best fish and chips <laughs> in the UK. That is what we've heard time and time again. But the sign yes. says what the sign says. Anything fresher will, is still swimming. Mm -hmm. So you tell us. Is it better? We don't know. If it was any fresher, it would still be swimming. Huh. Fresh crab. Ooh, you'd like that. Swordfish. Man, those, those are too those fresh. Prawns. At the end of the prom, yeah. be sure to check out the imposing scallop sculpture, a gleaming 15-foot stainless steel installation dedicated to Benjamin Britten by its creator, oh, Maggie Hambling. That is cool. Keep going a little way further and you'll reach Thorpe Ness, a wonderfully quaint but busy village, centred around a large boating Aww. lake where you can rent rowboats and kayaks and paddle the afternoon away. Pass. It's well worth a stroll around the village to see some of the beautiful buildings, including the Haven and Windlands, original holiday cottages built between 1911 oh. and 1914, okay. and the now famous House in the Clouds, which is what? also available to rent out for a holiday. What? There we go. Hold the phones. <laughs> Stop the presses. What am I doing? Wait. What? Rent the house in the clouds. Give your phone. 
I do not. I need to know the price. Probably really stupid expensive. Well, we'll look that up. We need to see if we can find a video on just this because now I'm intrigued. <laughs> and y'all know when I get stuck on something. We're going to find out more information. I have to. <laughs> Let's go back and, okay, so this says private house and garden. The fairies really own the house, or so the children say. In fact, they all, they all of them in, what? Sorry, let me try that again. The fairies really own the house, or so the children say. In fact, they all of them moved in upon the self same day. That was really hard to read that. Mm -hmm. Parental inquiries visit. House in the clouds. There you go. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to remember that. House in the clouds. <laughs> Y'all be writing this down too now, right? <laughs> .co .uk. Dot .co .uk. If anyone thinks I didn't write that down, I did. We Just will really be getting more information. Different. Okay. That's why I always have a pen in my desk at all times. Okay. It is also available to rent out for a holiday. That's insane. Just opposite that, also commanding a great Whoa. hot top location, is a really well-preserved windmill. This place is awesome. Yeah. At the other end, at the far south of the crag path, is the very impressive Martello Tower, the largest in a string of such towers built in the 1800s to protect the Felixstowe Peninsula from invasion from Napoleonic forces. Hey. It's now owned by the Landmark Trust, and you can stay here from a mere £600 for four nights. We can stay there too? Oh my god. Now we have to stay two nights. He said only £600 for four nights. That's not bad at all. I That's know. I'm going to sit there with my fish and chips that's so <laughs> fresh that I just literally grabbed it out of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And you can have your cup, your ice cream and whatever. I almost said coffee. Crab. You yeah. Yeah, and your crab and your ice mm -hmm. cream. That sounds weird. And we're just not leaving. Yeah, we might just have to like move in. No one's taking this off the list. This place is not, <laughs> you're, no one's Xing this off my list. <laughs> not even you. Come on, they got plenty of I ice cream. I know, I want to go here too. I mean, there's such cool places to rent out. You guys did not tell us this. Mm-hmm, I've been holding out. I mean, it doesn't matter how much we do, how many videos we look at, we're always finding stuff. That, that is so cool is and neat, and, and we, we have to go see. Yes, yes. And it's so pretty. That's On the, the high point. street, you'll find an abundance of shops, cafes, and restaurants to complete your day. Oh, we cream. really yeah. did enjoy our day in Oldborough. Can't tell. <laughs> oh, Woodbridge. <laughs> Pronounce that one. <laughs> Watch it be different. This looks cute too. With its history of rope making, sail making, and boat building, arty, creative, historic Woodbridge is a real gem. Situated on the banks of the River Deben and on the edge of an area of outstanding natural beauty, this vibrant mm. market town mm. is the perfect base to explore the nearby attractions. I can't wait to walk around Woodbridge was recently voted one of the best places to live by the Times, and it's easy to see why, with its eclectic mix of independent shops, That's boutiques, so cool. brightly coloured buildings and winding lanes. There we go. Shire Hall is a busy hub and a picturesque focal point for the town. Built in 1575, the upper floors were oh. used for judicial purposes, while the ground floor was used as an open corn market. Okay. Nowadays, yeah. the hall is host to seasonal food, vintage and craft markets. Huh. How close are these places to each other is what I want to know. Oh. Tide Mill, the most loved part of Woodbridge and an iconic local landmark, is one of only two working tide mills in the country. Hmm. The mill operated for over 800 years and is now a living wow. museum that still hmm. produces flour. Oh, cool. After visiting the mill, take a stroll along the banks of the tranquil River Deben and okay. admire the colourful houseboats. Yes. Foodies should be sure to coincide their visit with the Woodbridge Shuck, an annual shellfish festival that mm. showcases local seafood producers. Okay, when is this? There's okay. plenty to see nearby too. Sutton Hoo is an awe-inspiring place and home to one of the most important archeological discoveries in the UK, an Anglo-Saxon ship burial, discovered wow. by an inquisitive landowner and a self-taught archeologist. Huh. Recent Netflix film, The Dig, has sparked an increased interest in this oh, fascinating place. Yeah. 
Be sure to check wow. out the display wow. in the house, chronicling the discovery by archaeologist Basil Brown. Best of all, four-legged friends are welcome at Sutton Hoo. Yay! Also nearby is the Suffolk Punch Trust, a charity dedicated to breeding and preserving the Suffolk Punch Horse, a horse breed rarer than the giant panda. Wow! The wow. petting zoo, track to rides, and museum make a great family day out. Okay, done. Mm -hmm. Done. A spooky horses. place to visit near Woodbridge spooky. is Rendlesham Forest. In December 1980, witnesses <clears throat> reported flashing lights that hovered for three hours in one of the most famous UFO sightings in the UK. Mm. A forest trail takes you to some of the areas connected with the sightings. I just want to go to the forest. Ooh, Ooh it's got that I-C-H on the end. I know I don't do good with these. Mm -hmm. Dunnage. And it's not itch. Um, hold on. Dunnage. Dunnage. Mm. I was going to say Dunwich, like you said first. You probably were. I was. Okay. Well, then we'll both win, if that's correct. Yeah, <laughs> both win. Dunnage. I don't think that's right. <laughs> the tiny village of Dunwich has a mighty past, which now lies at the bottom of the... We're getting good at this. We Look think out. you guys. We think you guys. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm. I, I, yeah, we're nailing this. We are. I you said, are. Done it. You said you were going to say it, and I believe you. But you guys have turned us into <laughs> more British every day. <laughs> more than you know. The tiny village of Dunwich has a mighty past, which now Ooh. lies at the bottom of the sea. What? Where waves now rule <clears throat> was once a thriving medieval port, which rivaled even London. Really? However, storms and coastal erosions have erased all trace of the busy port. Holy crap. But if you visit Dunwich Museum, through its displays <clears throat> and its wonderful staff, you can learn all about it. Mm. Really? When, when did this happen? Help? Wow. If you love nothing more than getting out for a walk in the fresh air, then Dunwich Heath should definitely be on your list with its stunning landscape oh. and rare wildlife. Wildlife. You'll also want to stroll along the seaside cliffs and admire yep. the stretching coastal views. But you don't have to twist my arm. Nope. Cliff may collapse without warning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For history lovers, a visit to the Dunwich Grey Friars is a must. The beautiful 13th century friary ruins are one of the most important ancient monuments in Suffolk. Okay. Mm. The monastery was established in the 1250s, originally nearer the sea, but was destroyed in 1286 in the same storm that wiped out the port. Really? Oh, man. The entire monastery wow. once consisted of a magnificent 54 meter long church and accommodation for pilgrim travelers, the monks, and the abbot. Really? Wow. The That's wonderfully fantastic. eerie remains you'll see today are those of the refectory where the monks would have eaten. Mm. It's really a fascinating video, very well put together. The entire site was enclosed by a wall, much of which, Whoa. albeit repaired over the centuries, remains today. Huh. As do two of the three imposing gates. When you consider that this was all built in a 14th century yeah. in what is now a beautiful but small village, it really gives you some idea of the importance of Dunwich right. through the centuries. Absolutely. Wow. It's got some ecosystem right there in a way. Well, Suffolk. Holy crap. <laughs> yep, we're definitely gonna have to um, go and visit oh. for sure. The amount of history in just this short little video in these five little places, mm -hmm. the insane jaw-dropping beauty, mm -hmm. the amount of stuff to do, mm -hmm. the really interesting and unique places to stay. Are you kidding me? Are you yeah, kidding me? I know. We get to go walk around the pass, get nice and hungry, then we can go eat, and then we can have a place to sleep in the clouds. I, 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 we got to try to find a video on that. Uh, I, we do. I wish they could have shed more, but if you guys like this, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel and let us know if you'd like us to try to find a video on the house in the clouds. Cause I'd really like to, mm -hmm. hopefully there is one. Don't know. Um, have you stayed there? Have you been there? What do you know about it? <laughs> right. Um, and you know, what did, did you, did you agree with this list as far as, well, this wasn't like a list uh, no, or, that just... you would agree or disagree with, but. You Are know, there other villages yeah. that we should check out within Suffolk? And and I really want to know, um, and we'll try to look at a map, like how far each of these five places are from each mm -hmm. other, these villages. Um, because I would want to go to all of them. 
They yeah. all had something amazing to offer. and Exactly. This was great. Our list just keeps getting longer and longer, and it's going to be so hard to dwindle it down, narrow it down mm -hmm. to where exactly we are going. That There's so many off. places. Yeah, sad day. But this place is not coming <laughs> off. No, I think we definitely have to keep this on there. Yeah, for sure. And if you live in Suffolk, say hi. Let us know and where. And if anyone lives in any of these places, we want to talk to you. Especially if we, you know, <laughs> for travel accommodations. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed this. This was a blast to sit here and, and watch something so beautiful. Get so much information on such history. It is one of the reasons why we love the UK so much. Um, and it's such a great time to look at it. And uh, we hope to see you back on the next Natasha and Debbie Show episode, and which, by the way, is tomorrow, if That's you forgot. That's right. I just forgot to mention it again. <laughs> Magic Monday. Don't forget it. We hope to see you there. Until then, guys, please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.